Welcome to the Best of Youth Jams. Tonight, we're sharing some of our favorite songs from previous youth jams, and some inspirational quotes. We hope all of you will enjoy our time together tonight. Will you pray with me? Oh Lord, thank you for this time together. We're grateful for each person with us tonight, and we ask that our music would be a blessing unto their hearts. Bring us joy, peace, faith, and love through our worship and song. In Jesus' name, amen. Mahatma Gandhi said, Be the change that you want to see in the world. That is our goal as the First United Methodist Youth. Sing with us now, Heart of Worship. When the music fades, all is stripped away, and I simply come, longing just to bring something that's a word that will bless your heart. I'll bring you more than a song, for a song in itself is not what you have required. Search much deeper within Through the way things appear You're looking into my heart I'm coming back to the heart of worship And it's all about you It's all about you, Jesus I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I've made When it's all about you it's all about you, Jesus. King of endless worth, no one could express how much you deserve. The one we can pour, all I have is yours, every single breath. song in itself is not what you have required. You search much deeper within, through the way things appear, you're looking into my heart. I'm coming back to the heart of worship, and it's all about you. I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I've made it When it's all about you It's all about you, Jesus I'm coming back to the heart of worship When it's all about you It's all about you, Jesus I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I've made it When it's all about you Blowing in the wind 
Waldo Emerson, who was an American essayist, lecturer, philosopher, abolitionist, and poet once said, what lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. And now we'd like to sing, If I Had a Hammer. If I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the morning, I'd hammer in the evening, all over this land. I'd hammer out danger, oh no! I'd hammer out warning, look out!
the strength to follow and the grace to be who you say I am. When you call my name, I can see again who you are, who I'm meant to be. And as you Oscar Wilde gave a funny but true quote. He said, Be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. And now, a song for our children called Pass It On. Ellie Wiesel was a Roman-born American writer, professor, political activist, Nobel laureate, and Holocaust survivor. He wrote, The opposite of love is not hate, it's indifference. The opposite of art is not ugliness, it's indifference. The opposite of faith is not heresy, it's indifference. And the opposite of life is not death, it's indifference. Let's not be indifferent to those in the world that need us. We will now sing, I will follow.
mountains and the sea. Your river runs with love for me, and I will open up my heart and let the healer set me free. I'm happy to be in the truth, and I will daily lift my hands, for I will always sing of when your love came down. I could sing of your love Sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love forever. Over the mountains and the sea, your river runs with love for me. And I will open up my heart and let the healer set me free. I'm happy to be in the truth, and I will daily lift my hands. For I will always sing of when your love came down. I could sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love forever. Sing of your love forever. I could 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 sing of your love forever. We couldn't end this evening without a timeless quote from John Wesley. John Wesley once said, I continue to dream and pray about a revival of holiness in our day that moves forth in mission and creates authentic community in which each person can be unleashed through the empowerment of the Spirit to fulfill God's creational intentions. We hope we empowered you to fulfill God's creational intentions through our music and words tonight. We close by singing, Michael, Row the Boat Ashore. This song is an African-American spiritual first noted during the American Civil War. It was sung by former slaves whose owners had abandoned St. Helena Island before the Union Navy arrived to enforce a blockade. Charles Pickard Ware, who was an abolitionist who had come to the island to supervise the plantations, wrote down the song in music notation as he heard the freedmen sing it. Take care and we'll see you soon.
my glory. 